As a programmer, have you ever wondered how you can make your work smarter? Have you ever wondered how you can leverage on the time and the skills that you know as a developer? That is what we will be addressing today in this video. Welcome once again to Tech Mastery Hub, your go-to source for all things programming. And I am your guy once again, Oladeji. In today's video, we'll be looking into the art of problem solving in coding in a way that is smarter. Let's call the title, How to Code Smartly. How do you code smartly as a developer? You have all the skills, wonderful. You're very good with what you do. But um, it's inevitable as a developer to run into troubled waters sometimes. A lot of times, just to debug a little thing, we know how much time it takes. A lot of times, that new thing we need to find solution to that we have not done before, you know how much time it takes to do trial and error before we could get it done. Of course, a lot of us have always been going to such communities as Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is there online. It's a, a portal where developers meet, refer solution to you know, each other's um, quests. There are many other such communities. It's one of the smart ways to work. Just imagine there was no such thing as Stack Overflow three, four years ago. I'll tell you quickly. When I started coding as a young man, as a young developer, there was no internet. I relied solely on books. Now imagine what that would take. A lot of times I sit back today and I just reason back and laugh how it was then compared to how it is now. To worsen it, in the society I found myself, there are very little programmers you could relate with to share ideas. Today, it's much more better. It's even getting smarter by the day. When we run into troubled waters, you don't know how to you know, tackle that JavaScript code. You don't know how to you know, put that um, um, quick book to work, maybe on your Laravel application or something. We run to Stack Overflow. We run to a few other such communities online. Somebody somewhere must have solved that problem. Somebody somewhere must have run into the same problem and solved it eventually. And that is why we always go there. But now it's getting sweeter. Stack Overflow is good, but at times, depending on what you are looking for, you could stay one whole day looking for a solution to just one single problem. Now, if there was no such community as Stack Overflow, that means you would spend days. But with Stack Overflow, a whole day may go. But if you know how to phrase your questions, your searches, and rephrase them better, it may get you there faster. That is one smart way to, to work as a code, as a, pro, as a programmer. In today's world, especially this year, no, AI is taking the lead when it comes to working smart. There are a couple of AIs out there today that could help developers in many ways. When you are using VS Code, for example, Visual Studio Code as your IDE for programming, there are a couple of, um, you know, of um, AIs that you could put as extension to help you out. One of them, of course, is a black box. With black box as an extension on VS Code, you could ask question and it will refer solution. It will give sample codes. It will give you that syntax the right way. You can debug easily. We have a couple of others. We have Ask Kodi. We have um, um, GitHub Copilot. A lot of them. A lot of them. Some as extensions on um, your ID, popular IDs. Some as standalones online. For me, top of the game right now is ChatGPT. I'm sure we're all familiar with ChatGPT by now. Um, um, the AI, by OpenAI. ChatGPT could do a lot of things. 
a lot of things. But specifically, if you want to leverage your skill into this coding world, ChatGPT is one of the sweetest options. Once you know how to put the prompts rightly, hey ChatGPT, I'm working on a coding challenge and could use some help. I'm trying to describe whatever problem you are trying to solve. I'm trying to integrate QuickBooks into my Laravel application. You know, and here is the issues I'm facing. Describe your issues. ChatGPT will provide the answer. Drop a snippet of the code that is having an error or your error message. ChatGPT will provide the answer. Now, don't get me wrong. These answers may not instantly come correctly. Depending on how you ask, depending on the understanding of the AI, but you could keep rephrasing your question. Talk to the AI as if you're talking to a human. No, this is not what I mean. I mean something like this and like that. And even when it's not going to outrightly solve that problem for you, most of the time, it will give you a good lead to how you could solve it. It will prompt something that will remind you, oh, yeah, I remember. This is the way to go. Now, this is also one of the smart ways to work. Like I will keep saying, collaboration is a key thing when it comes to coding. Collaboration is one of the greatest assets we have as developers. In IT generally, data analysis, programming, app development, whatever you want to name it as. Collaboration. Now we're talking about um, working on Stack Overflow. In a way, it's collaboration. If people are not there to have solved the problem, you wouldn't have somewhere to go to find it. Right? So collaboration, we can never over over overlook it. You don't have to tackle problems solo. Collaborative coding can be a game changer anytime, any day. Anytime, any day. There are times you are at your low when coding. The next person you are working with or teaming up with will not necessarily be at his or her own low. So, oh, I'm stranded on this. Any idea? You work smarter. You work faster. And you share the success stories. So, that is the point number three of um, how to work smartly as a developer. Now, let's not forget to leverage what we have in open source today. There are a lot of open source applications out there. There are a lot of open source libraries out there. There are a lot of open source solutions out there. A lot of times that application you even want to build has been built as open source. All you have to do is find it, study what has been done, understand it, modify it. Be sure it's open source so that we're not stealing somebody else's work. Build on it. Comply with the terms of use of whatever open source you are taking. There are lots of them. Lots of them. Interestingly, even some of the programming languages we're using today are open source. Some of the platforms we're using today are open source. How much more? the individual solutions. Let's take advantage of these things. It will save us hours upon hours. Back then, some you know, 15, 20 years ago, an application that would take me two months to build could take me one week, two weeks in today's world. And that's talking about me still working solo. Why? Because of all this... Um, smart tools around me that I can leverage on. There's nothing like leverage generally in life. You will always move faster. You don't have to reinvent the wheels all the time. A module that has been built by someone else and is placed out there as an open source for you to use. Why rack your brain trying to build it afresh? Take it. Build on it. Give acknowledgement where you need to give acknowledgement. And move faster. Mind hacks and problem solving strategies. 
What do we mean? Solving problem strategies. Don't forget, like I always keep saying, one of the greatest assets of a developer is the ability to solve complex problems. Those soft skills we often overlook are very good ingredients that can leverage our efforts as developers. Never sleep on them. Never sleep on them. Critical thinking is a soft skill. If you don't know how to go about it, if you are not naturally skilled in it, go take some online courses. Go on Udemy. Go on Stack, what do you call it, YouTube. You find free courses you know, to kickstart you on some of these soft skills. They are leverages and they will take us far. Very far. Very far. Don't forget, in conclusion, problem solving, programming, is not just about writing those codes. It's about using the smart strategies. I want to encourage you as you try out some of this. I will leave some of um, the, the, the tools, especially the AI tools I've mentioned. I'll leave them in the description below. If you are not familiar with them, try them out. Take advantage of them. Upgrade your skills. Upgrade your game. Leverage. Collaborate. Team up. Join communities. Contribute. Don't just go there and take. Let somebody else learn from what you know also. And as you try all this, I encourage you Drop your comments in the section. Ask questions where you need to ask and I will gladly answer you. When you try anything and it works perfectly for you the way we have described in this video, drop in the comment section to encourage others. And don't forget, subscribe to this channel to get more of such things as this, especially on insights on smart coding. Like this video if it's helpful to you. And thank you once again for joining me. I remain your guy, Oladeji.